What's up everyone, welcome to this tutorial, uh, uh, it's a photoshop tutorial and uh, we're going to take a look of how to easily uh, make um, a, a metal logo in photoshop. Uh, it's quite easy, it's not hard and um, it's just a few steps. <coughs> yeah, well, so let's get on it, let's get started. Alright, go on file, file new, make a new file. Um, Depends on size you want it. Uh, 720, maybe 480. Alright, there you go. And uh, what you need to do next is uh, uh, there's many ways you can do this. Uh, there's a lot of ways. Uh, this is an easier way of doing it. So go ahead and um, grab the um, a lip tool and draw a circle and make sure you set this out here is selected not this this over here and uh all right so okay my bad first you need to uh make it on a blank uh new layer all right so don't make it on the background and make sure the layer is transparency all right so drag and hold on uh, a space the keyboard and uh, you'll be able to position it around all right so yeah um, all right so let's get on it um, hmm. let's go on um, this shape of here custom shape and uh, if you look if you click here on the shapes not here shapes click on it and um, you see a lot of shapes so go down here and click on the circle shape of here that's the one we want and uh, just uh, drag it, hold in space, and uh, position it wherever you want to position it. All right, let's say, um, let's say, and uh, wait, uh, let's undo some of the things here. So from the beginning, the color needs to be uh, kind of a grayish color, and uh, there's a uh, this color here. You can uh, check the numbers. It's kind of um, it's not the best but I think it will do the trick all right and so it's four five four five four five six times and uh, it's kind of a great it's gray it's gray color uh, so let's go ahead and do that again oops and lips to draw the circle first make a new layer and um, Custom shape tool and uh, click on the circle. Uh, go ahead and position it, hold on space, release it. Now it's made a layer here. Alright, so you can make many copies as you can, as you want, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click control, control, and click on the layer. Alright, so and I'm just gonna hit delete. Uh, now it's um, we don't have the shape right now. We don't have the colors in there. We don't need them. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on the uh, elliptical marquee tool over here, and um, I'm gonna make a circle in the middle. Again, you can do this many different ways. Alright, so uh, once you have that. Go ahead um, and uh, hit your uh, layer one, and hit delete, and that will delete uh, the shape that you made and this uh, the the selection that you made. All right. So go on uh, select, deselect, and this is what you get. All right. So let's go get let's go get the metal look right now. Let's go get the look of the metal. All right. So double click on the layer, not this one. So layer two now is useless. We don't need it no more. So click on layer one and uh, out of glow. Right? So put it aside. Now we can change this to black and leave it that way. Uh, we're gonna change it to multiply blending mode as you can see. Uh, the opacity maybe around around 50 she'll do it uh, size size of it 
right so maybe uh, maybe three oh, three should do it so again if you hit r3 enter there and that it's gonna uh, make the the window disappear and then you have to click on it again to open it double click on it to open it again all right so let's go ahead and click on uh, bevel and boss and we need to change the, the depth to uh, let's say 325 uh, that was okay and uh, what else do we need to change oh make sure it's inner bevel and it's uh, smooth uh, make sure you don't change to any other ones you can, you can get really interesting effects you, on the other ones but we are focused on a smooth one of him alright so yeah uh, that looks good that looks good yeah yeah that's good um what else do we need to change that's all that was easy <laughs> alright so let's go ahead on um gradient this is where you're gonna get the meta look alright alright so uh the first one we need to ch make kind of a uh, white but not really and uh and click and get a, gr a gray kind of looking and click again now this time we need to get a little darker a gray <laughs> click in the middle uh let's get a gray kind of and white You know, you can just play around with these, and you can come up with a uh, uh, different kind of looks. You can, you know, change these around. You come up with the different looks. All right, that looks, uh, that looks okay. All right, that looks fine. Uh, again, it's a simple. It's really simple. Not hard. That looks uh, that looks really okay. As you can see, we are almost there. Go ahead and play around with it and um, until you're happy with it. All right. Perfect. Yeah. That looks good. That looks good. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. All right. So. What we need to do next is um, give it more detail. Uh, wait. So on this one, we kind of um, got different shape, a uh, different looking shape of here. So let's go ahead and see. Um, all right. So if we go on, uh, if you click here, and if you click on these different. Um, uh, different uh, shapes these are made in curves curves and uh, if you click on it you can change the curve and you can go ahead and customize it your own way but uh, we're going for a metal kind of look a nice look oh, these all make really good metal look uh, uh, so I'm just going to go with um, ah, I like this one better like this one better alright so click OK and um, one more thing uh, make a new layer and do the same again custom shape make sure you click on the circle and uh, go ahead and hold on space to move it around and uh, move your mouth and uh, mouse and uh get a really good shape and so you got that uh you go ahead you need to go ahead and uh click on filter noise 
add nose okay now we can go ahead and usually we'll be at uh, uniform you need to put on gaussian and you need to turn on uh, monochromatic and click ok alright so we, we need to go on filter again uh, uh, blur radio blur and uh, twist it all the way to 100 and uh, make sure it's uh, on spin you can put it best good is okay and uh, yep and now it's spinning alright that looks fantastic but we need that is too much spin uh, radio blur and maybe a bit like that that looks okay let's, let's go ahead and just um, do it until we get it right I'm not happy with that I need to make it okay you know I don't need it to have a really big feather oh that's fantastic otherwise that the before we're getting these um, spreading out and not sticking on this uh, circle of here and which is bad we don't know we don't want that oh, you, know, you need to go ahead and change this to multiply uh, multiply that looks okay on multiply but let's go ahead and try litten uh, that's good that's good you can see the difference of, over here let me go ahead and zoom in and uh, all right, turn it on you can see that or oh, we can go on uh, screen and that we do just fine alright and you can just go ahead and duplicate this layer duplicate it and uh, control T hold on alt and drag it on the top one alright so yeah that's how you make a um, metal uh, logo and that was easy that wasn't hard at all <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and duplicate the layer the main layer and control T again um, alt and drag it and make sure you center it and that looks fantastic uh, you can go ahead and <coughs> you can go ahead and just name it uh, anything you want and um, yeah this logo is free for anyone to just go ahead and uh, use it you can make this kind of logo and uh, I won't mind if you use it I've even seen it um, go ahead and make it like this and uh, name it whatever you like again you can go on the text tool and um, or you can just write on the text on the path let's go ahead and just draw a path around it you can make a better one than this you can make a better one than this I'm just uh, being a bit lazy <laughs> okay yeah let's go ahead and uh, click on the path that we just created with the pen tool and say uh, hmm. and uh, let's make sure we change the size down 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 uh, maybe there about there and uh, type something around it uh, let's say um, maybe let's say London or let's say uh, hmm. what should we say everyone I don't know why I like using that everyone logo and let's go ahead and take it out like that and we're good and we can just go ahead and um, duplicate make a copy control T position it rotate and um, oh, I'm just rotating a path ok I need to go ahead and make sure that Z, control Z, 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 Z control Alt Z to undo the mistakes ok alright that looks fantastic not bad not bad control T rotate and enter and then we update and uh, control T again so you might be rotating you don't see any result 
that's because you just need to rotate it and uh, make sure you have it right and hit enter and you see the result all right great 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 um you can go ahead and uh, edit it if you like and say um uh follow photo show uh, everybody thank you for um watching the tutorial oh uh, i'm just gonna give you um, a background let's go ahead and make a background uh let's see uh let's say let's see let's see let's see uh okay make sure the background is black and go filter add noise add noise add noise yeah do the same thing uh, this one's fine okay um filter blur motion blur that looks fantastic all right so that's all everyone thank you for watching and uh hope you liked it um and if i follow you i'll go ahead and uh make these text uh uh metal so they match all right all right thanks for watching everybody make sure you subscribe for more cool tutorials and tips i'll be posting short videos for tips uh and those are really really helpful and uh, subscribe and uh, I'll be making more video tutorials for Photoshop and way way cooler this is just the beginning I've been not uh, posting tutorials for a long time so I decided to just start easy right so yeah my next tutorial is gonna be really big um, I recommend you watch my uh, previous videos even though the sound was not good and um, still uh, try it you can go ahead and check out the beginners tutorials but Hey, um, thanks for watching the tutorial and uh, now it's a better sound, it sounds pretty good, uh, the sound is really uh, high quality, I like it. Alright, see you next time everybody.